financial literacy. When you make it to the league, everybody thinks you got it. Oh, I, he made it. He all the way did. Yeah, he said <laughs> he forever. He made it. Yeah. And yeah. it's not the case. Because yeah. uh -uh. you ain't making it until you get that second, that third contract. That's making it. That's making it. Building wealth and stacking wealth, investments and all that. Mm -hmm. So when I made it, everybody wanted some bread. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it ain't what you think. I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a fifth round draft pick. You know, I can't I can't remember what round you were, but I'm a fifth round draft pick. Mm -hmm. You know, 178. I got it tatted yeah, on me tatted right on here. Yes, Fifth sir. round pick, 178. Got it tatted on me to daily motivation to Thanks. never get complacent and never get comfortable in this NFL. Never get complacent, never get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Those two things in the NFL, if you get complacent and you get comfortable, you will be out this lead in a minute. Am I, nah, am facts, I right? That's fact. You'll bro. be out this lead that's, that's in a minute. That's fact. Consistency is what, is, is what keeps you in this lead. Mm -hmm. Being consistent day in and day out. Being the same person and and up upgrading your stand, standards each and every day, each and every day. But when when I made it, everybody was like, "Oh man, like let me hold some," and it's not that we got. Say like, for instance, I signed for a million dollars. Okay, half a million of that <laughs> taxes. taxes. <laughs> you know, another part of that agent fees. Yeah, yeah. Another part of that got to find houses to. Somewhere to live at in right. the in the in the city that I get drafted in, and let's not. So I'm already probably down to, okay, half of that five hundred taxes, agent fees. Okay, I'm probably down to like okay, let's say I'm probably down to like probably about, about what probably about uh, four thirty. I'm just saying four thirty seventy thousand agent fees. Okay, I'm down to four thirty, and then we talking about somewhere to live at. Yeah. So I'm really right, probably down about three hundred. Down, yeah. You know three hundred. You know I'm probably down three hundred, and, and I and I'm talking about if I got kids and food, all food that, and all that. You see, I provide that, and transportation, all of that, bro. So, yeah. so talk to me about what you did, and talk to like, like young college athletes coming out of college, like you know I went to LSU or uh, uh, Michigan, mm -hmm. or you know anywhere. Talk to guys about what you did to survive, because I see you take care of your money, like 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 I watch you closely. You take care of your money, like okay, like you, you get fashion, you get drip, but you ain't you ain't blowing your money on that. Mm -hmm. You know, you you do hidden hit, hidden pieces from here and there. Mm -hmm. But explain to rookies and explain to guys coming out of college, okay, what you did when you came in the league. Man, so I'm, I'm I appreciate you, yeah. you know, give me you know the credit for being responsible, yeah. but it wasn't always like that. Um, <laughs> you know, in all honesty, you know, when I when I first got drafted, you know, even on draft, I had this you know bust down Cuban link. You know, chain and that, you know, being from Miami, that's like, you know, a big trophy. If you everybody will. want Cuban links, you if know, you don't know, everybody want Cuban links in Miami. I'm just leaving that there. You, know, you got the flow. Yeah. So um, I think early on, I kind of I was still on that immature mindset of, okay, like I want to the diamonds and, you know, nothing wrong with diamonds or bust not, not you know, nothing wrong with that. But um, I saw opportunity during COVID where there was this uh, AP, this uh, gold AP blue dial. And I was able to take that chain and take it to the jeweler, get credit, and go get the AP because I knew the AP was all gold and, you know, it holds its value better, right? Yeah. But still, it's a watch, so it's still yeah. something, you know, people would think, okay, it's just to look good or flex or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, a uh, couple months after, you know, people kind of kept track, you know, the watch market went up. And that AP that I got for that low price, yeah, <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Did. I took that, sold that, flipped that, and then put the down payment on my crib I got right now. So, you feel me? Like that that's just been the progression. Are you listening? Yeah. Are you listening to what he just said? You might have to rewind it on your YouTube channel. Are Man. you listening to what he just said? He didn't say he kept the chain and brought her to watch. He said he took the chain to Cuban Link, which yeah. was hot, which is still hot, yeah. traded it in and went and got the watch. And then we when he got done with the watch, yeah. you traded it in and put a down payment on your what? On my house. Okay. On your what? On my house. Man. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you man. go. For all my people <laughs> who wanna have 30 chains and wanna have 30 watches, you heard what Josh Uche just said. Financial literacy. Yeah. You heard what he just said. Yeah. Literally. He took the watch and put the down payment on his house. Exactly. So he could have a roof over his head. I know a lot of people who got a lot of watches. A lot of chains, but ain't got a house. Got a house. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy. I mean, well, I, I'm not even one to knock because look, everyone's different. Everyone yep. has their taste. Everyone has their vices. You know what I mean? But well, Uche, I, I understand. I know what you're a saying. A house, though. Look, I know. I know. Like you know, that's what my man's 
was talking about on Baby Boy when he was talking about stocks <laughs> gu- and bonds, guns and butter. Yeah. That's what he was talking about. Exactly. He was guns and butter. And, and people pick What are the guns? What are the butter? Yeah. That's what it's exactly like I I always make fun of that movie, but I never knew what he was talking about when he guns and butter. The real estate, the yeah, stock market, it's hold and all true, that. It hold back. Like your watch hold value, plain Jane. Plain you took that. Jane, you took that Cuban link chain, traded in, got a plain Jane AP. Yes. The AP you didn't want it for too long. Okay, cool. Boom. I need a house. Boom. Trade this in instead of spending my money on my bank. I'm gonna trade this in. I'm gonna go get a house. Yeah. Like that's smart move. Like that's that's people. That's move. People need to hear that. That's mm-hmm. smart because the the average person, what he gonna do is I'm gonna keep my Cuban. And I'm gonna keep my AP, but I might not have a house. Exactly. Or I'm gonna keep my Cuban. I'm gonna keep my AP. And I'm gonna go buy a house. What you can't do, like you said, we're not knocking that can't at knock all. Yeah. We're not knocking that. But he was like, okay, cool. I get AP later on in life. You know, my man out here, twelve sacks last year. You know, so you know, God say the same. He keep doing the same thing with with good health. With you know, with, with God willing, mm-hmm. he took the AP, traded it in, and went and got a house. So man, I'm I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. I'm 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 explaining that story to somebody else. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, man. That's that's Appreciate I'm happy it, to hear that. 